know here in today this will just be a quick little channel update vid and yeah let's get started so guys um you may already see that the metal is shinier than what it usually is and that's because i spent almost all day yesterday using this product never dull uh kibo made a video on it i'm not gonna make a video on it it's just an amazing product you just wax up the metal on whatever bay you have and bam it makes it a hundred percent shinier unless you have a really oxidized metal like excalibur sword here or salamander then it's not gonna do it but all the rest it did it for so we got union achilles looking as great as ever and then lord spriggan or lord spryzen venom devilos and he has to stay in this position because that's the only way i could fit five in a row and we got cosmo kraken haven't seen him in a while since he since um what was it uh the two hour video that i made um then we got judgment joker um wizard fafnir bushin ashindra um sword veltriac or slash valkyrie looks a hundred percent shinier looks really good um Ace Dragon, I got Gran and Rock in that Yu-Gi-Oh box over there. And we got F Dead Phoenix, Dead Phoenix, Perfect Phoenix, another Dead Phoenix. Now the reason why I have three Dead Phoenixes is because this is my friend Connor's Phoenix. Well, what I do is um, people lend me their bays, I get to use them, and I shine them up so i got connor's dead phoenix this is my friend d's dead phoenix because it has an 11 metal on it i can tell connor's is the um, one with the least amount of damage done to it so compared to the other two layers and this is my dead phoenix because it has the regular friction on it so that's how i can tell and that's just perfect phoenix and we got air knight and then we got Turbo Achilles looking pretty shine tastic. This is mine because I forgot to put that sticker on up there. And then we got this is these, I believe. Yeah, because his no. Yeah. His has volcanic dash and I couldn't really do anything for his blades. Union well, his blades on his Achilles. This is Connor's. Achilles still looking pretty great. Um, shined it up a bit, so it's pretty cool. Then we got Turbo Achilles, just regular, just regular. Then we got um, Connor's Chosy Spryzen or Turbo Spryzen or slash Chosy Spriggan. And then we got mine because it has a wall frame. It has Lift Destroy on it because his Zeta Dash is somewhere we don't know. I got two Zeta Dashes because one's on Surprise and Requiem over there. Okay, so on to the next base. We got the original Chosy Valkyrie. As you can see, it's got a lot of damage to it. And I could only shine the tips of the wings and nothing else like it is far long gone in oxidation then we got the ori the newest chosy valkyrie that i had or turbo veltriac as you can see it's way shinier than the original one so yeah really shiny and we got dead hades now i shined it up real good just so it looks great and then we got my orb agus and or orb engard looks really good very shiny um then we got 
my friend Jaden's Orb End Guard. Um, this was my original one that I gave to him. Pretty good on the shine um, meter. Uh, this is Kraken, shined up. It's 8 metal, really, really good. You can see my fingerprints on it because what the wax does, it gets on your fingers when you shine it really good. So when you touch the base, you got your fingerprints on it. So we got um, uh, Amaterios, looks pretty shiny. And we got Geist Fafnir, who hasn't shined in a while, but now looks extremely shiny or lusterful. And we got Kerbeus. Looks pretty good. And then we got Breaker Excalius. I did an unboxing of it on this channel with the original purple dagger frame. I gave this to Connor. So, yeah. Its sword got pretty shiny too. And then we got Buster Excalibur. And then we got Vice Leopard, the original Vice Leopard on my channel. But because it doesn't have the spring ability anymore, modded it a bit. The newer Vice Leopard. Revive Phoenix, this is these Revive Phoenix because it has a 13 metal on it and it has stickers on the Revive armor. And we got my Revive Phoenix, just straight stock combo. Then we got Archer Hercules. Really got shined on that. Then we got Hell Salamander or Heat Salamander. Um, just looking pretty good. The discs is what I focus on, not really the layers as much, but if I can shine a layer, it looks great. So this is Crash Ragnarok or Crash Roctivor, looks pretty good. And we got Brutal Luinor here, this, look at that thing, shines like when I first unboxed it. Um, then we got Emperor Fornius, hasn't seen his zero metal shine since i first got it which actually d gave it to me so next box we got another z achilles it's hasbro's z achilles but whatever still put 11 extend on it the original extend so it's got the gimmick and everything so z achilles and then we got connor's achilles which is the black Z Achilles, and I shined its 5 metal up pretty good. Then we got Connor's Wonder Veltriac, and it's the actual Hasbro Wonder Veltriac, so it can actually be called that. And then we got Winning Valkyrie slash Wonder Veltriac. Got pretty shiny here. Shined up the blades and everything, but you can still see the battle damage. Um, then we got Spiral Treptune, looking pretty nice, shined up Wedge, really good. Um, then we got Twin Noctimus, two metals, always been shiny on this guy, just needed a slight checkup. And then we got Kalzar, pretty shiny on this. Like, if you saw my rag, it used to be white, but now it's completely black. I had to throw it away because it, I couldn't get it off. Uh, get a terry cloth. Do whatever you need to do. Um, we got freaking Kukulkin, or Kaldzar, however you want to say it. I couldn't shine the center of Surprise and Requiem so good, but that's because it was just hard to do. Um, but we do have zero, and there is Zeta Dash. Then we have Arc Bal Cash. It's two metals, always been shiny, so I haven't really done anything new to it. And then we got Chaos, who now shines. Then we got um, Kanox. Chaos and Chaonox, however you want to say it. Then we got Nightmare Luinor, and you can really see the change on this one. 
Just look at that. It's fantastic. Got a silver destroy on it, too. Now we got Strike Genesis Veltriac. Non-modded with Friction Slingshot. Shine that one up pretty good. Then we got Modded Strike Genesis with regular reboot because I don't have ultimate reboot. Then we got Shutter Regulus. Looks pretty good. This is going down in the way of Takeratomi releases, not Hasbro. Then we got Shelter Regulus. Um, the six metal on this. Pretty shiny. Uh, then we got Surge Excalius. This is Connor's Surge Excalius. Couldn't really do anything with it on the blade, but I got the one metal to shine pretty well. So, all right, back to the video. Uh, just had to help my dad with something. This is my Surge Excalius. Really shiny on this one. It was newer, and then we got a shiny one metal. Tried to shine up iron as best as I could, but I couldn't really get anything on it. Um, then we got Mountain X Galaxy Zootron for my original Galaxy Zootron. We got four. And then we got Survive. So, bam. And then we got Guardian Curbeus. It's got a Limited and a Revolve Driver on it. Without, because I lost the thing to the Revolve Driver. So, Guardian Curbeus. Um, Blast Genius pretty shiny as well and we got maximum garuda it's really hard to show how shiny these are when they have frames on then we got the seven metal on legend Spryzen, and then the chip in the middle looks pretty clean uh, we got crusher doom sizer which i've had since the start looks pretty great um then we got alter cognite I modded it uh, with tape because it kept switching out, so nothing new I've done before, but still. Um, Wyvron, Tempest Wyvron, looks pretty shiny. And we got Connor's Drain Fafnir, looks pretty cool, um, on the top anyway, but then when you get to this. You can really see the oxidation. Then we got my drain Fafnir. And it's pretty shiny compared to the last one. Then we got um, D's uh, Berserk Roctivore. And this was my original Berserk Roctivore. You know, the one that burst a lot. But now I got four across Unite. And this is a really tight Unite. So it's pretty good. So, yeah. Then we got another one of these. This was my... Um, what was that called? And it was the one with four, four, um, four frames in it. It's a reverse color Roctivore. And the five metal looks pretty shiny. But I couldn't shine up iron. Then we got my new Berserk Roctivore. Looks pretty great. Um, Flugel. Then we got Connect Satum. Um, two metal looks pretty shiny. But I broke loop. So if you could spot that without me telling you, you're pretty good at spotting things. And we're almost done with the um, God Slash Switch Strike base. Uh, we got Genesis Speltriac. Uh, doesn't look that shiny on camera, but it is really shiny in real life. Then we got the original Genesis Veltriac modded uh, because this is supposed to be Strike Veltriac's outer wing, but it's now Genesis. And really shiny metal, too. Okay, so next we got into dual layers and we got this is going to be Connor's stuff, real quick. So this is his Minoboris. Couldn't do anything with down because it was kind of vertically inclined and you can't really shine it. So if you have any down, sorry you can't do it. 
Hey, I got Connor has a four star one. Survive. Pretty the same. Then we got Ring. Ring cleaned up really nice and it looks pretty cool. So this is his Quetzico. Then we got his favorite dual layer. Fantasus. Um can't really polish the inside of this too well because what I do, I usually just like rub them like this on the bottom, but the polish um, covered up the metal, so couldn't really shine it. But I got the top bit um, pretty good. Then we have Betramoth, Gold X Betramoth, um, six um, extend slingshot. Uh, works the same as Flugel Slingshot, but and like burst resistance, but it's better because it doesn't go into turbo mode all the time, so I retired that tip. Then we got Nepstrius 12 Zeph yeah, that is 12 Zephyr, and looks pretty good, pretty shiny for the 12 metal. Then we got Hyrus, the original one. Um, seven survive slingshot. This is the combo of the. This is the combo of the original, uh, the poison X Hyrus and the seven metals. Pretty shiny. Then we got Inferno Eye Freighter, um, zero quake, and zero cleaned up like really nice. I wasn't expecting it to clean up. It has the Minoboris M1 stock combo. Then we got Wyvron W1. Again, same as down, but I did get the bottom this time. So it cleaned up really nice and really good. Okay, so then we got Storm, Spryzen. Um, Knuckle was pretty easy to clean up because it's just a perfect circle. Okay. Unite, same as always. Then we got Victory Veltriac, and um, Boost looks amazing. Haven't seen Boost shine in so long. So Victory Veltriac, and then we got Storm Spriggan. It's fake, but don't worry. I had another spare Storm Spryzen, so I was able to get rid of the lead um, disc it had. So looks pretty shiny um, from the top but the bottom didn't really clean up as well as last storm surprising and now on to the last segment okay so we got this Yugo Yu-Gi-Oh um, legendary deck box and it contains chaos um, yeah the uh, whatever this is called I forget what it's called Magnum yeah, I'm just going to call it the Magnum Disc. Uh, yeah. This uh, cleaned up pretty great. Uh, especially on top. It was really clean. And this is Chaos Magnum Survive. As you can see, we got my broken Achilles. I'm going to use that in the series that I'm doing for when Achilles breaks. And we got Micro Bays in here. We got... Flugel Slingshock. The different type of micro bays in here. We got Fang Fenrir, or Fenrir, however you want to say it. Two Zutrons, a Beast Behemoth, or Beast Betramoth, Veltriek. I really liked this, so I got that. And we got Gigant Gaia, or Giant Giant Gaianon, or Giga Gaianon. And we got spare metal bay parts i gave my metal bay to d bays to d and we got wyvron armed cleaned up pretty good um especially on the bottom here except for inside but on the here let me get it on the top it was pretty great all of the metals look like armed on the top it it's extremely shiny then we got Doom Sizer with Oval. Oval cleaned up pretty great. Um, got a four-star Oval instead of the one on Euphrator, which was actually two. 
And then we got Kribea Central Defense Slingshot. Looks pretty great. Um, and it's amazingly shiny. And then we got Rocktivore Heavy Survive. This is a heavy that came on Guardian over there. But I switched the disc because I wanted Rocktivore to have heavy like it originally does. So now it has its original combo because the orig originally I put Central on it and that came on Kerbeus. So next we got Veltriac Wing Excel and Wing cleaned up the best. I wasn't, it was. This was a disc that I've had for the longest time. So, it was pretty insane to witness. So, yeah. So, that's everything in this Yu-Gi-Oh! box that I keep my collection in. And, at the end, we're just going to put these over here. We're going to talk about this product, where you can get it, and how it works. So, this is Never Dull Wadding Polish by Eagle One. You can get it at AutoZone and your local auto shops. So, let me get it open.